guys. The, the sun is going off in Columbus, Ohio, so it must be 12 noon. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Chuck. How are you doing? Everybody, huh? Let's see. Why doesn't my screen look normal? Let's do this here a bit. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Steve. Hi. Hi. Screen. Hey, Marty. Nice to see everybody. I think we have some new people on today. Um, if you did not see what you need today, it is, this is the end of our strength cycle. If you're new to us today, we're going to be doing some weightlifting, a little bit of out of order than what we usually do. But then uh, next week, we're going to go back to our normal cardio, brain work, core strengthening. So um, I am going to put that up real quick just so you can look at it again. So um, a chair for certain, but you may not need it. You need something soft to step over. It could be a towel. It could be a small pillow, but we're going to do some sidestepping. A variety of ways. And as always, your enthusiasm. So um, David is just about done um, collecting eggs from the chickens. <laughs> I am going to mute uh, all of you. There's my favorite button. You are muted. And um, let's see here. How's everybody doing? I got to look at the screen here. Wow, we've got 41 folks joining us today. What a good day. Well, it is a good day, Jackie. Yeah. And I heard you talking about this is the end of our cycle, our 12-week uh -huh. cycle. We roughly have 12 weeks. Um, we do um, a very organized uh, cycle for everyone. It works out really well. We've been doing this for a long, long time, probably 20 years of a cycle. And um, it's better for your body, it's better for your brain. So this is the last week of our cycle and we are into big heavy weights right now. Big heavy weights. Next week we start the beginning of a new cycle I'm, and there's a lot of hard work. I'm gonna lift you today. Yeah, Jackie can <laughs> lift me today and then she won't need to lift anymore. All Guys, right, let's get going. Yeah, let's get going with just um, something to shake the rest off. 50% effort, five out of 10 for two minutes. Uh, yep. And then we'll get started. Okay, let's we'll start the clock. Yeah, so you can be seated or standing. Um, I didn't quite take a peek to see if we have new folks on today, but if we do, welcome. I'm Jackie Russell. This is David Zid. You're here for Brain and Body. We work short-term memory. We're going to work a lot of strength today. We do some brain work, which involves just a whole bunch of stuff going on. And we're going to have a little bit of fun today. Well, on the next week, I'll tell you, it's going to look very different next week. Yeah. Next Wednesday, if you show up next Wednesday, it'll look very different. So we're just walking. Yep. Just About moving. The same effort as walking. Just moving. I see I John M. You could do some side steps. You could do some squats. Hi, Bert. Nice to see everyone on screen today. I know we have some new folks. Hi, Lois. Thanks for bringing your friends on today. Margie, thank you for bringing your friend on today. Come on, Steve. I got to get you moving. You're at the top of the screen, man. I'm looking right at you. There you go. No rest for the weary. You can do anything you want here, guys. You can march in place. You can walk around your house. Or you could dance like I see someone doing, which mm -hmm. I do love that. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. So we've got the pink lady on, yes. or others known as Smiley. Hi, Smiley. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think she is smiling, too. Always smiling. Is that Karen Deerbaugh on? Wow, she's, she's going for two, a twofer. Twofer today. Yeah. I think you're going to mm -hmm. like this one, gang. We've got about 15 more seconds in this mm -hmm. two minute of just shaking the rest off, gang. Oh, how are you is, feeling today, Jackie? Are you feeling you know, fresh I, as a daisy? I feel pretty darn good today. Good. I'm, you know, I'm. I'm probably going to show you up. Actually, is what absolutely. I'm thinking. <laughs> That's what we expect. That's your time. That's your two minutes. There's your two <laughs> See, minutes. Yeah, I just went over that. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Gang, I am going to show you some things for short-term memory. Great. So, if you're new, we always show some words at the beginning of our class to um, put in your memory bank, and then we'll pull them out. So there they are. 
The first word is a bike, stationary bike, but it's really an airdyne. You don't have to remember airdyne. Uh, an apple. Is that for extra credit? Yeah. Yeah. The things with a star, if you get that, that That's is extra, extra credit, credit. And you're going to be paying the You people. get the gold star today. <laughs> yes. Sure. Bike, apple, cell phone, pizza, and the number today. 23,456. Two, three, four, five, six. No one. There's no one there. What if I want to put a one on the front? <laughs> no one can put a one on the front. One, two, three, four, five, no, six. No, no one. No, no there's one. no one. Okay. <laughs> so those words storm right in the front part of your brain. We'll pull them back out. We're practicing short-term memory today. Those words have no relationship to each other. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay. How are you going to make it? Well, when I'm on a bike, I oftentimes eat an apple and I'm on my cell phone. <laughs> And I can call pizza in one at the same time. <laughs> 23,456 times later. <laughs> of course, of course, there's a way to relate to those words. Sure. All right. We are going to do a warm up today. And our warm up for our upper, upper uh, extremity is going to be the same moves that we're going to use for our weightlifting. Sounds great. So yeah. the first uh, shoulder move I want you to do is I want you to hinge forward at the hip or lean forward on your chair and your arms are hanging in a big upside down U, and you're just going to pinch your shoulders together because we're going to do a nice wide row today so this is the move you're going to be doing with weights later on i just kind of want to grease the skids so you know the form. form and this is more is, of a rear delt move, Jackie. It is. When our elbows are high and wide, I call mm -hmm. it high and wide. Right. It's more of a rear delt move than um, yeah. a lat or a rhomboid move. Okay. So that's one move we're going to do. Then we're also going to be doing, I call it a, a chest fly, but with your arms in goalpost position, you will have weights in your hands. But right now, you're just going to bring your forearms together and then go right back out to goalpost position together and out there's the move oh you guys are going to be so good with your form today let's just get one or two more here beautiful then we're also going to do an upright row you're going to be standing or seated but you're going to have weights hanging down so your hands and arms are hanging down right in front of you you're going to pull them up elbows are high and you're going to go back down. So I like saying this is pull an imaginary broomstick. Just grab a broomstick and pull it up to your chin. Mm -hmm. That's the move. Elbows are always higher than my hands. Right. So From think the side, about. I've got nice posture. I'm just pulling that imaginary broomstick up to mm -hmm. my chin. Jeannie's got it. Think about your elbows being really high when you're pulling up. Nice job. Nice job. Mm -hmm. All right. And then our last move that we're going to do to warm our shoulders up we're going to be doing a bicep curl and an overhead press all together so the bicep curl your elbows bend and then you push the weights to the ceiling so it'll be a bicep curl and then weights go up to the ceiling you can use one arm if you've got a bad shoulder Jack, you need help curl? with these? Do you want me to help you with these? Yeah, could you help me? Could you give me an assist here? <laughs> Let's go one more here. All right, so now you guys know all the moves that we're going to do for weightlifting, for our arms. Let's go into some high knees. You can be walking for your high knees. You can be standing. Yep, so I'm going to walk for my on. high knees. Yep. Just about 30 seconds worth of high knees. You can be seated for your high knees. I'm going to stand right next to a chair just in case I need it. I see Bert and some of my other favorites in their chair doing nice high knees. And you know what, my friends? When we say high knees, this is a drill to try to get your knees up high. It's not about speed. Mm -hmm. It's not about balance. So hang on to something. It does work a little better for gait if you actually move. Yep. But the whole idea is to get your knees up high. And we're just warming up here. We're just warming up. All right. Now let's go into some butt kicks. You can move with your butt kicks or you can stay and hold on. But you're just trying to kick your own butt. Yep. And they pretty much go hand in hand. When we teach a high knee drill, you're probably going to see a butt kick mm -hmm. after it. Again, it's not about balance. It does work better if you move. We're trying to get your heel closer to your butt that doesn't have to touch. This is nice stretching job. the front of your legs, yep. quads. It's not about balance. So if you need something to hold on to, do it. 
Great job, everyone. All right, now our last warm up move. We're going to do some side steps. You can hold on, or you can just move sideways. But the step is nice and big. You keep getting closer to me, so I'm, I'm gonna trying keep to get away close to you. <laughs> it is COVID season. Oh, that is. I forgot it was COVID season. Gosh, how could I forget that? Yep. Nice side steps now. Push you out of the if you get now. it, oh, I'm going out of the screen. I'll see you later. <laughs> Maybe you're more scared of me than I am of hey, you. Guys, if you are in your chair, you can do side steps in a chair by just going around the chair. Absolutely. All right. And you know what? I think we're going to call that a warm that is, up. That's a great warm up. We're ready to roll, aren't we? We, we are ready, ready to for roll. You, Jackie. Come so on, bring it on. The, the, bring it on. All right. First move is just going to be something to get your heart rate up. So you don't need a heavy weight. I want you to grab a lightweight or a light ball or even a pillow, something that you can hold. And all we're going to do, seated or standing, is we're going to do 20 squats with an overhead press. So whether it's one weight or two weights, or even mm -hmm. three weights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going down in a squat and coming up and over. So I'm just squatting and then pushing up and over. When you're squatting, keep your eyeballs on the screen. We've got 20 of these. I am counting today. You're welcome. I am not counting today. I know, you never count. I'm still thinking about riding a bike. <laughs> Eating an apple. Eating a pizza. <laughs> on my cell phone. Oh, my gosh. Good job, guys. We're coming around to halfway. This is just to get us warmed up. Hello, Lois. You can Margie. be in between your legs with a press. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. I can go in between my legs. I can also go to the outside. Sure. Whatever works for you. We're pretending like we're sitting in a chair. Coming up and over. Two more here, gang. This is a lightweight, soon ah, to be a heavier weight. Soon to be a heavier weight. So that was just to get you moving a little bit. So our first um, strength move is going to be that wide row. So choose your weights wisely. We are going to do anywhere between 12 and 15 reps. We're only going to go one round of this. So go you one shot as you at can. it. You got one shot. Make it work. Make it work. One shot at it. So sitting or standing, mm -hmm. both very similar form. Correct. I'm going to let you stand and I'm going to sit. Sure. I'm just going to bend my knee slightly, just slight bend in the knee. I'm going to bend at my hip joint like I'm addressing a golf ball. My head's up and I'm going to go my elbows high and wide. Yeah, this is tough. High and wide, elbows go up. So let's get started on your own count. 12 to 15 reps. Make sure you are going full range of motion. So all the way down. And when you come up, your elbows are high and you're pinching your shoulders. Yep. So my, my elbows are yep. leading the charge, mm -hmm. gang. My elbows come up first. Yep. My hands are hanging below them. Marvin, that's nice form. Stay forward. You're not moving your body up and down. You're just pulling your elbows up. My elbows are not close to my rib cage. They're no. out wide. And that's getting my rear delt. Mm -hmm. 12 to 15 reps on your own count, please. Whoa. I got 15. I'm just about done. Woo. Woo. All right. Roll your shoulders out. I nice feel that job. as much in my low back as I do my shoulders. Yeah. I mean, that's really a nice low back exercise, too. All right, guys. Second strength move, bicep curl to overhead press. Bicep curl to overhead press. Choose your weights, 12 to 15 reps. Okay. I'm going to stay seated for mine. You can be standing. You can go as heavy as your shoulders can handle here. Here we go. Wow, we're going right in. Jackie we're going is right into on it. fire today. We got today. a lot of stuff to do today. We got to do it. That is a full, oh, that's a full sheet. Right? I know. Hand position doesn't matter. Any hand position works. Boy, hand position's coming weights. up. Mm -hmm. Up and over, coming down, just any hand position works. Maybe uh, diversify a little bit. Do a few with one hand position and then swap them out and do a different one. And if you have a bad shoulder, you can just do the bicep curl on one side. I see that going on on the screen. It's perfectly fine. My knees are slightly bent. Slightly bend your knees. Nice job, guys. Nice job. 
if you're looking for weights, people are finding weights online right now. Start searching. Someone said the Kroger's had them. Kroger has weights. Go figure. Go to Kroger and shop for some weights. Ugh. I'm going to buy some lettuce <laughs> and beets, dumbbells and some dumbbells. <laughs> Don't put the dumbbells in your oven, though, because they won't. Not. Cook. OK. 12 to 15 on your own count. I got one more. Beautiful, beautiful work. Let's take a minute. I felt like I just did 23,456 <laughs> no. reps. <laughs> no one does That's that. That's a hint, by no the way. No one does that. <laughs> Two, three, four, no five, six. No one does that. <laughs> yeah, we will be revisiting okay. those pictures. I promise you that. You guys drink water as much as you want during this workout. When you're doing strength training, you need a lot of water. Our next move, you can go pretty heavy with a weight. I call it a suitcase squat or pick a weight up off the floor. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know if you're going to use your concrete block. Oh, I think I'm going to. That's what I thought. Let me show you what this move looks like, guys. This is a leg move. This is definitely a leg Do move. Do you want the concrete block? Uh, you know what? I'm going to let you have okay. that concrete block because... You didn't bring your work gloves today. No, I didn't bring my work gloves today. You can do this uh, multiple ways. I will show a seated option, but I'm going to start standing. You can just keep both feet together. You put that weight down on the floor. Bend your knees. I'm not bending at my back. I'm bending at the knees, and I'm picking the weight back up. That's the move. Now, if you want to tweak it. Yeah, I like a tweaking. Go ahead and tweak. I like going one foot slightly in front of the other. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do, Good luck strike with that. that, strike that. I need to get a different weight here. So that's not gonna work. There's, there's just a lot of different foot positions for this. Yeah, show them, so, show them what your option so is. So I'm just going to, I, I want to do a wide squat where I'm just picking it up and putting it back down, mm -hmm. picking it up, put it back down. I like a wide squat. That's, that's the way I like to do those. So you've got a seated version. You're going to do a chair get up. I have a seated version. I also have a version if you want to hold on or don't want to hold on and want to keep one toe on the ground and make this into kind of a one-legged pickup, you could do that. But if you're in a chair, if you're in a chair, scoot to the side of your chair. Get that weight to the side of your chair. Sort of stagger your feet. Lean forward. Pick that weight up. Go back down. Okay, so here we go. Let's get 10 of these. Jackie's got 10 aside. Yep. So I'm going to pick it up with my left arm, and I'm going to pick it up 10 times. Tap the floor. Come back up. If you can't tap the floor, don't worry about it, okay? I like this nice and wide stance. I think we're going to get more glute involvement. We like that those glutes. Nice. Good job. It's not a fast move. No. Matter of fact, on our way down, we might want to slow it down a little bit because that eccentric load, that's what's called eccentric loading. You're lengthening your muscles, and that's where you're loading them, and that's where you're getting all the work. My arm stays straight. My yep. legs are doing the I'm work. I'm going to call that 10. Okay. Yep. I'm going to call that 10, too. Take a short little break oh. here. How's everybody doing? Doing fine. Did you pick the right weight? Here we go. Okay, other side, please. Seated or standing. Here we go. Eyeballs are still looking at us. Yeah, they are. We might as well pretend we're picking up a suitcase because we won't be traveling for a long time. Yeah, no doubt. <sighs> Good. Good. Hopefully job, you're everybody. feeling this in your glutes, in your in your legs, maybe even your quads. That's all fine. Mm -hmm. We want you to feel this in your legs more than your back. Certainly don't want to do a whole lot of arm work right now. We've got lots of arm work coming up. <sighs> Try to keep this in the legs by keeping your arms straight. See my arms just stay straight the whole time. Last one. And that's your 10. Ah, uh, there's your 10. 10 it's probably on more each like side. 13. Well, I think we need to ask the question. Yes. 
What are they? Four words in a number. How are you going to think of these? Are you going to look at the picture in your mind? Are you going to make a sentence? What are they? Nice to see some new faces on Susan and Lillian, Steve N. Mm -hmm. Lots of people here today. Yep. 46 people strong. Nice. All right, gang. Come on. Let's pull those words out. Don Kalupa, I know you know these words. Okay. What are they? Go so, ahead, Jackie. What you got? I know there is an apple. It's actually a gala apple. I'm not going there. I just want apple. Pizza. Pizza. Two kinds of food. Um, bike. Yep. Oh, gosh. I'm going to text you later. Cell phone. Mind you. Cell phone. <laughs> and then the number, there's no one in the number. No so one. I'm going to pretend like I'm going to say one. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Let's see if you guys got it. got it. Having absolutely no relationship whatsoever. Bike. Now, Jackie does have Apple. a little gold star next to it. Yeah. If you remembered Airdyne bike, that's a gold star. Or Gala Apple. Or anchovy pizza. Or an Apple cell phone rather than a Samsung. There you go. You know. I'm sure someone out there had that. Apple, <laughs> Apple cell phone. Yeah, that does have a relationship. All right, guys, put those away. We're going to revisit them. Hey, that's short-term memory. You know it. It's what everyone loses with the normal aging process. Let's get it back. Let's Absolutely. get it back. Absolutely. We're going to do a little bit of cardio. Yep, we're throwing a little sliver of cardio Just in here. Just a little titch of cardio. So we're going to go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And we're going to go... First 30 seconds at about 70% effort, 7 out of 10, 30 off, then another 70%, and then we're going to go up to 80% effort. Sounds good. So you can do whatever you like for cardio. We'll give you lots of options. You can stay seated in a chair. You can stand up and do low impact. You can grab a bike or a treadmill or a piece of equipment up and down on your bottom step of your staircase. You get to pick. We keep the clock. Let's get started in about five seconds. Yep. So the first 30 seconds is... Is it 70% effort? That's pretty high yep, effort. Let's go. Here we go. So this this is the type of thing, you know, if you're saying, hey, I have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. Don't worry about no. it. In three minutes from now, you should be slightly out of breath. Yep. That's what that means. And we do that with just classic interval training. It's been around for hundreds of years. Well, maybe not hundreds. Hundreds. But a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just about getting your heart rate up and little leaps and bounds. And then you're coming back down yep. and resting. And there's your first 30. 30 seconds done and dusted. You can keep moving. You can recover with movement. Or you can just sit and take some nice deep breaths, grab yep. water if you need it. But in 30 seconds, we're going again, exactly like we just did. 70% effort. About 70%. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to stand for mine. But be safe with these workouts, gang. You know you better than we do. If you have a bad back or hip or shoulder, do what's right for you. I'm going side to side again, Jackie. You're going side to side? Yep. Just feels like the thing to do today. Is it the thing to do? Here we go. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds, side to side. I like what I see on that screen. Got a lot of activity on that screen. Yeah. Okay, there's halfway. Nice job, guys. I even see some weights on that screen. Go. Almost there. Finish strong. And that's your time. Woo. All you need to do is get breathless and I'll tell you, you know, there's a lot of people thinking, well, I, I can't get out of breath. I'm, not, I'm at home. You know, I can't get out of breath. I don't have the tools to do this. Well, right now, I haven't touched anything yet, and I'm right. a little bit winded. I am. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a run in place for my third. For my third, I think I'm going to do some boxing. I'm going to just stay out of my way, would you? Sure. Okay. I could hang on with all of these exercises yeah. I'm doing. Right. Okay, here we go. We're up a little bit higher now. 80% I could actually effort. be hanging on to my kitchen countertop right now or wall. Absolutely, I could. Yeah, you could be jumping, hanging on to something, jumping jacks. 80% effort. This is effortful. Time's going by quick. Go, today. go. I know it is. What is up with that? Wow. Almost there. Come on. And that's your time. That is it. Woo. 
So a little pick me up for the heart right there, which is going to just flood that brain with oxygen and all that neuroprotection that we talk about all the time. It's going to make great your stuff. memory improved, the way you think about things improved. It's going to help Parkinson's. It's, it's going to help well, everything. Hey, think about it. You woke up this morning and you have uh, whatever, a, you know, 65 year old brain, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And then you go to bed tonight and it's a little bit younger, <laughs> <laughs> just a slightly younger we because you new. exercise today. Your brain improves a little bit, see, with exercise. So you can go to bed thinking, hey, you know what? I'm a little bit younger tonight. <laughs> Isn't that great? Okay, grab that towel or a small pillow or something that you can step over. We're going to go right into some brain work. And I think you're going to like this. I happen to have a towel right here. So what we're going to do is set yourself up. And I will show a seated version of this. But you're going to put that towel or whatever you're going to step over on one side or the other. I'm putting it on the left side. So I'm going to use my left foot. Let me just show you what this looks like, gang. I'm right next to this towel. I'm going to take a big step over it, big enough that I can bring my other foot over. And then I'm going to bring my other foot over. So I'm stepping over the towel in one direction. And then I'm going to go right back over it in the other. The key is the step has to be wide so that you can get your other foot over. So just give me a couple of those. Now look at this. What if I need something to hang on to? I can still step over that towel and have that chair in front of me. So it's not a balance challenge. I really want you to work on picking your foot up, clearing the object, and then bringing your other foot over. Now, if you really want to stay seated, it's the same move, same exact move. I'm just stepping over and stepping over. So give me a, about 30 seconds of that. And then we're going to add a layer of difficulty. And I think you're going to like it. I'm going to take a, take a peek at you, see how you're doing. Oh, Team Klein, nice to see you. Mary Jo's here. The Epsteins are here. And Sally and Kathy, lots of new folks here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Bill Schlebaugh, you're here. Hi, Sharon. Steve N., that's a nice big step. I like the way you're stepping over it. Bert, that's perfectly fine. J.L. Crotty, that looks great. Team Hamilton looks good. Okay, gang. I think you've got the move down. Let's add something to that. So mm -hmm. So, <laughs> do you have a towel to step over? No, I do over? not have a towel. You do have a towel to step over. Oh, here it is. Here, I got one. No, here I got one already for you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's like a... It's, packing my lunch, Jack. It is like I packed your lunch today. Thank you. All right. I am going to put that towel on the left. My left foot is going to step over first. When I step to the left, I'm going to say a word, anything to do with Halloween. This is everything Halloween today. So Great. whatever you can think of that comes into your mind when you think of Halloween is an appropriate word. But get the word in your head before you step over so you're ready to say it when you get to the other side. All right. I'm going to step over. I'm going to take a nice big wide step over that towel. Bring my other leg over. I'm going to say um, ghost. White sheet. What? Yeah. <laughs> well, I went to a toga party once on Halloween and I wore a white sheet. So white sheet. to me, a white sheet is okay. Halloween. Okay, great, okay. great. All right. Now let's we're go back to the right. Step over to, with the right foot leading and then the left foot follows. Nothing happens when you step in that direction. Okay. Let's step back over to the left again. Nice wide step. Take a minute. Did you think of your word? Um, which? Pizza. It's supposed to be Halloween. Okay, but every Halloween we order pizza. <laughs> Guys, okay. I hope you're having great appropriate words for Halloween. Step back over, nothing <laughs> happens this I think direction. I know what you want. Give me another shot. Here. I'll give you one more shot. Going to the left. Going to the left. Here we go. Mm, I'm going to say candy. Apple cider. There you go. All right, here we go. Now, how fast should you be going? 
slow. Yeah. This is not about speed. No, it's this is not. about getting what you mm -hmm. want, pulling up something out of your brain and saying it while you're still and relaxed. Pumpkin. Jack-o-lantern. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> nothing happens this nope, direction. Nothing over there. You're not saying anything on nope. that right side. Spooks. Black cat. Okay. I'm going to watch you guys for a little bit. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. Ghost stories. Look how slow and yeah. deliberate I am. Yeah. When I'm over here, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not thinking about my word yet. I can come mm -hmm. over here and then think about the word or what I'm going to say. Roasted pumpkin seeds. Perfectly fine to hold on. This is about taking a big step and saying a word on the other side. Seated or standing. Scented candles. Mary Cummins, I'm looking at you. You look fantastic. I love the way you're stepping. Scented candles. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that one. I like that one. Hi, Jane. Yep. Trick or treat. Bill Hunter's doing it. You guys, give me one more each side. One more each side. Lillian, good job. Merlane, perfect. Team Klein, there, there you are. Okay, gang, come I'm on back. I'm gonna say home. Halloween in the Victorian Village, because <sighs> Ohio has this great place, historical society, and we always go there every year. We can't go this year. Oh, so really is out. there even gonna be trick or treat this year? I don't know. Yeah, as of right now. Oh my gosh. So. All right, gang, that's our brain work, and let's um, let's think about those words again. We might as well just go there. Let's just go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. What were the four words in the number? You've got this. You've take got a second, this. relax the jaw, yeah. just take a breath in. Pull those words Not right in out any of the hurry. front of your brain. Say them out loud. Mm -hmm. Even if you get three of them, that's good. Yeah. If you get two of them, that's good. If you get all of them, your neurologist is going to be knocked over mm -hmm. when you go in for your testing. All right, Chuck, okay. I know you have it. Shall we? Shall we? Let's do it. Let's Bike. do it. Yes. Airdyne. Apple. Gala. Up. Down. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's something no, wait, else. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. That's not it. That's not it. Bad. Good. No, no, no. 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 We've got bike. Yes. Apple. Yes. Pizza. Definitely pizza. Cell phone. Uh huh. And what's the number? Two, two three, three, four, four five, five six. six. Did you get it? There it is. Gang, we have a lot of Airdyne bikes in the gym. They are great. We love for our cardio. Airdynes. We do love our Airdynes. All right, yep. let's put that away. Let's move on. Let's move on. How's everybody doing? Grab some water. We're going right back into some strength. So you need two weights for this move. The next strength exercise is going to be an upright row, seated or standing. Seated and, or standing. Yeah. Row. The move for this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're hanging your weights down in front of you. Your elbows lead this move. Elbows come high. Weights come under your chin. Go back down. That's Remember, we're the pulling move. that imaginary broomstick mm -hmm. right along your chest and up to your chin. Yep. Just pull the broomstick up. That's all you're doing. If you're doing this in a chair, scoot out to the edge. Spread your feet wide. But now we're using Here we weights. Here we go. We're upright. The chin uh -huh. is up. I'm looking up and out. If we're going to get strong, how do you want to get strong? Do you want to get strong looking down at the ground? No. We want to get strong looking up and out. Gang, your palms should be facing you. Back of my hand is facing the screen. There you go. There Doesn't you go. doesn't matter how high you go. Just go as high as you can. Cool. Pull the elbows first. Those look are at some, Mary Jo. I'm, that's Mary what I'm looking jo. at, Mary Jo. I don't know what size thinking, weights you have, but they cow. look like they're enormous. She's doing an upright row with like 30 wow. pound weights. I don't want her to knock me out. <laughs> Gosh, form looks great, guys. Form looks great. 12 to 15 on your own count. That's you got it. this. Nice job. That's a nice tough little job. move. It is a hard you move. Get into bigger weights, and that yeah. can be a tough move. Woo. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Finish up in your own time. We're not in any hurry today. We have plenty of time for this workout. We do have plenty of time. This is a strength workout. 
So in between sets, take a minute, breathe, grab some water. Chuck Bishop would just keep doing upright rows until the yeah. cows come home. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Chuck. We love watching you. It's front and center of the screen. Same with Steve. Steve and Chuck are just doing upright rows till they yep. die. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good job, gang. All right. What do we have coming at us? We've got your chest flies. <gasps> I love this move. So seated or standing, I'll do mine seated, but two weights. You start in goal post position. My palms are facing you right now. And the move is I'm going to bring my forearms together. And if I can get them close enough that my weights touch and then I go back out, that's the move. In and out. So you're bringing your palms together. And if your elbows can get close together, that's awesome. Big shoulder move here. Big, Big shoulder, shoulder move. move. Good for rotation. Good for oh, yeah. mobility in your shoulders. Mm -hmm. My knees are slightly bent. Nice job, gang. Oh, there's those heavy weights again. I see a nice selection of weights on the screen. You guys are listening. There's some laundry detergent bottles. Did you nice. see those fly by? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 12 to 15. When you're done, you're done. If you cannot do another rep, then you are done. I'm done. Look at Steve. <laughs> nice job. I, oh, I'm done. I am totally Ooh. done. Ooh, that is a tough move. We have not done that move in a it's while. A tough move. <sighs> Forgot you can't use a big weight on that one. Wow, you cannot go too heavy there. Nice. Nice job, everybody. Nice to have Mike French on and Bill Schleyball. Yeah, and RB's Mary on. Mary Cummins, good to see you. Mary. You know, we have Tinkerbell on today. I see Tinkerbell. Nice to see Tinkerbell we have Jerry today. on, and of course, Jane. What will we do without JDC. Margie? Yeah. Very nice. Dorothy Superman's on. Superman's on. I, yep. Superman has a memory. We've got like Miss Sally on. She's I like know. Superwoman. Oh. <laughs> All right, gang, go ahead and grab some water. Take a second. We do have one more strength move coming your way, and it does not require any weights. How about that? Wow. Okay. What our last strength move is, we're going to just do some plain old garden variety squats. Sounds good. A perfect squat. Feet are about shoulder did with blah 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 yeah that's okay and <laughs> we know what you mean we're wide with the feet <laughs> we're gonna Thank you. first Thank move you. we we're do wide with is the we're feet. gonna sit back with your butt like you're sitting on a low couch that's mm -hmm. the first thing you do anytime you squat anytime you sit down you put your butt back and it happens automatically mm -hmm. that's all we want you to do okay so we're gonna do a full squat for 45 seconds 45 okay, seconds we might get whatever 15 squats yep. in maybe but then we're going to do the bottom half of that move. A pulsing squat. For 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've got this clock going to be started here in about two seconds. And here we go. So this doesn't have to be a fast squat. If you want to, you can crank them out if you want. Yeah. Just make sure Up they're good you. squats. You're sitting back. Now, nice. if you're in a chair and you're not going to get up and do squats, you can just do a forward lean, and I call it a chair get up. Love the chair get up. Getting off the chair just a little bit and coming right back down. Yep. Forward lean, come up, go back down. It's a tough move, actually. 45 seconds at your own speed. Yep, can be any speed we want. We can slow this move down a little bit, get fewer squats. That's sure. fine. Weight in the heels. I can be holding on to something. Yes. All right. So now here's what we do. We're going to do the bottom half of the move. So I go down to where I can and I come up halfway. This is just a pulse. Squeeze the glutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, Jackie oh, became from my. your favorite person to your <laughs> least favorite person. All right, gang. Get into your pulsing squat. We've got 30 seconds here. Go. Oh, we've started the clock. Jackie. Oh, thank goodness. You're way behind us. <laughs> just a baby squat. Shouldn't be that bad. Shouldn't be that bad. It We've is got that five bad. Five seconds to go. It is that bad. Three. Come on, hang in there. Two, hang in there. One. Oh yeah. Woo. Wow. It's almost like cardio squats. Yeah. 
Yeah. We might have lost half our people. Click, 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 click. click. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I'll tell you what, that's a oh great move for gosh, your legs, gay, but it also yeah. gets your heart rate up. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. All right. Take a quick breather. Yeah, definitely take a, take quick, a quick breather. Take a quick breather. Grab some water. Collect yourself. Yep, we're going back into a little brain work. A little bit of brain work, yeah. So grab that towel or whatever you were stepping over, but no hurry, no hurry. We got plenty of time. Very nice. See some new folks on yep. there. Yeah. Linda and Mara, mm -hmm. Carol, Cherie. Cherie. Nice to have you with us. All right, guys. So grab your towel or your pillow or whatever you're stepping sideways over. Remember, it can be done seated. You're just rotating in the chair. A little sidestep. Little sidestep and a little thinking. So All right, let's refresh our mind with the basic move. I'm standing right next to my towel. I'm stepping over with my one leg. The other leg comes over. When I'm on this side. We're saying something about Halloween. Christmas. Oh, Wait Halloween, a that's right. I thought we were just bump, jumping to Christmas. We, I mean, the stores are already having well, Christmas. We should have jumped to Thanksgiving, but that's kind of like <laughs> Halloween. All right, so I'm going to Halloween, say, let's stick with Halloween. I'm going to say face paint. Knife. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, nice. knives are scary. Okay. And right, knives are go. used to carve your pumpkin. That's right. Back over to the right. Don't say anything on this side. Not yet, anyway. Take a step over. I'm going to go chainsaw. Caramel apples. Oh. <laughs> Take a step. Nothing. Chainsaws are really here. scary. Chainsaw massacre. Here we go. Mm. Costumes. Hmm. Campfire. I always make one on Halloween. Mm -hmm. Going back over. Kit Kat. Huh, what's that? Is that a club? <laughs> a Kit Kat club. <laughs> Bubble gum. No. <laughs> okay. That's my candy bar. I All gotcha. Right. I like Kit Kat. Let's add something to this. You know, and the reason we're adding things, we want to make this more difficult for you. The more difficult the exercise, the more your brain has to work and it does improve. Your memory improves with more multitasking drills. It does. All right, so what are we doing, Jackie? So now when we step to the right, when we had been saying absolutely nothing, we're going to count up by twos. Great. Our first number, however, is one. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so let's start from ground zero. Let's start from ground zero. We're going to the left. Everything Something Halloween. about Halloween. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Nice big step over. Scary costume. <sighs> Candy bag. Yep. And see, and we're not in a hurry. See, we just waited. Thinking. So Jackie thinking got her. So Jackie got her. And then we're going to go to the right. <laughs> so one. One. First number is so one. We're counting up by two, mm -hmm. starting with one. All right. Okay. We're back to the left. Here we go. Black. Scary claws. Ooh. Is that like Santa Claus? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, three. Three. One. And you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. I got to do this. I'm going to say the number a few times. Three. Okay. Three. Okay, I just said yeah. three. Three. Okay. Let's go back to the left. Okay. Here we go. Trick or treat. Darkness. Mm. Okay. So I said three a couple times. So I know my next number has to be Five. 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 Okay, okay, let's say go. five again. Five. Five is okay. my in my head. Here we go. Uh, mask. Hmm, good one. Hmm. Fake teeth. Ooh. Um, oh gosh, that last number was this number was five. five. So seven. 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 Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven. Okay. Here we go. Caramel corn. Hot dogs on the grill. Nice. Okay, what was our next number now, gang? <laughs> Say it. Nine. Nine, mm -hmm. nine, nine. nine, nine. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Freddy Krueger. Witch's Cauldron. Oh, 
Ooh. All right. I'm going to watch you guys. You can go at your own pace. 11. Not about speed. Scary movie. Mm. We'll talk about the eat the fun one. Hello, Luann. Nice to see you. John M. That looks perfect in a chair. I love it. 13. I'm going to stop on 13 because that's a lucky number. Ah. Bert okay, keep going. is doing this, holding onto the chair. That is awesome. I yep. love that tweak. Go, Merlane. We're stepping over. Uh -huh. Going to the right. We count up by twos. Going to the left. Nice, Steve. Steve looks great. You're saying something about Halloween. Hi, Marianne. Lots of good control there, gang. Yeah. Good job. Good job. RB, he's on task today. Yeah. I see you thinking, Jane. Jim and Mary, Team Hamilton, you guys look great. How about Hi. JL? A I JL know, Crotty. JL Crotty. Nice I to see. have you aboard today. And she's right next to Dorothea, and they have the same color shirt on. Yeah. You guys look like twins. Uh -huh. kind of a Superman, supplement. you better be on like 73 by now. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have Smiley Sue with us and Bill Hunter. Nice to have you yeah, here. Sue's Always good to here, see you. Michelle. Okay, gang. Yeah, that's it. Margie looks really nice. That yep, is nice big it steps. For our we love brain that. Work. You know, the thing is, gang, you know, this is the this is the type of thing that helps you get control. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you're stepping over, you're stopping, you're thinking about something. So not only does it help your brain, it's gonna help control your body too. So, you know, this is the type classic example of Jackie coming up with an exercise that helps with one thing and maybe two or three, four yeah. things. That's so, the whole really good stuff. It's the whole plan with our yep, we love hour of exercise. All right. We have actually we have a little bit of core work coming your way. Um, this can be done in a chair or on the floor. So if you're vibrant, you want to go to the floor, grab one weight, and we're going to do something called a get up. I'm going to show you how it happens in a chair. And I'll show you what happens on the floor. David's going to go to the floor. So one weight. Nice core move here. I'm going to use a brick today just yeah. to show up okay. a point. You know, you don't need um, a dumbbell bought from a store. You can just grab something from your mm -hmm. backyard. So a brick. Um, a get up is just a, a roll up, a modified roll up. Our head tries to touch the floor. The weight's over my head. Okay, my arm's straight. And when I sit up, the weight is still above my head. And my arm's still straight. So that's, that's it for this. So if you're joining me, come on down to the floor and let's get started. We're going to let Jackie explain the chair version of this. If you're following me in a chair, please scoot all the way out to the edge of your chair and lean back. Lean back so far that if you can rest your head, rest your head. I've got that weight over my head. I'm going to come up off the back of the chair and I'm actually going to pull a knee up and then I'm going to go back down. So that's one rep for me. So We're I'm doing 10 aside yep, if you're ten with aside. me. 10 aside. Oh. Just roll back down nice mm -hmm. and slow. See if you can get the head on the floor. The trick to being in a chair, guys, is being all the way out to the edge and leaning back. Okay, that's 10 for me on one side, Jackie. I'm going to move to the other yep, side. Go ahead. If you've got 10 in, start right on the opposite side. That's 10 for me. Nice job. Now, if you've got a bad shoulder and you can't go above your head, pack that weight right on your shoulder and do the exact same move. So when you're switching sides in a chair, pull that other knee up. It's opposite knee, opposite arm. Don't forget to breathe here. We like breathing. Oh. Oh. Lots of folks on the floor today. So proud of you. <sighs> ah, 
and that's 10 for me. Nice job, Jackie. You know, we've got a couple couple seconds here. I'd like to show something. Yeah. You know, so if you haven't been to the floor in a while, you're saying, you know, that just looks really hard. Yeah, that's a tough move. Mm -hmm. That's a tough move to get up. But let's 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 simplify it a little bit. Let's let's take it back a step because most of us can probably do this exercise. It's called a roll up. It's an old Pilates mm -hmm. exercise, uh, old Pilates move. And so what we do is we start on the floor and what I can do is I can kick my legs up. See, I can kick up and hang on to my legs. It helps get me up, but on the way down, I'm going to release my legs and slowly roll down. See, so the downside is what's important here. It's the eccentric load and I can kick myself up or get up however I can. And then I work on the downside. See, so this is, the, this is a practice for you outside of class because sometimes we have to move a little faster just because we have an hour mm -hmm. and that's all we've got. But if I have to like lean over and push myself up and then let myself lower down, see, you're going to improve on that because if you get better at going down, you get better at going up. Yeah, you do. And if right. you liked this workout, guys, the Wednesday workouts show up on YouTube the very next day. Thank you, Bennett. Thank you. So Bennett. you can do the Wednesday workouts again immediately. But if you look on YouTube, there's probably close to 300 workouts on there now. You can choose them by degree of difficulty, by what we focus on. Yeah, and they're dated. Just and take potluck. They've got a take um, potluck. explanation of it. You know, we have a little bit more cardio coming our yes, way. Yes, we do. So yep. in David's um, training world, mm -hmm. well, on a weightlifting day, you just need to end with a little bit of cardio. Yeah, a little bit of cardio. It's not hard. A little bit of a pop of cardio actually mm -hmm. helps solidify that strength training. It actually makes helps you heal faster. That's the end of the day what it is all about. It's about damaging your muscle cells in mm -hmm. the workout and then healing well afterwards. See, that, that's what strength training is all about. Cardio. So just we're healing pop. already. Yeah. The muscle cells are repairing, they're regenerating, and they're getting stronger. Um, and we, this is just part of the healing process. So we've got two minutes coming your way. I just want one minute at 60%, you know, a little bit more than walking or marching, and then a minute at 70%. Sounds good. That's all we're doing. Okay. Seated or standing. We're going to start. Let's start in about 15, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Yeah. 15 seconds. Feel free to follow us. I think my first minute I'll do in a chair. My second minute I'm going to stand and always be low impact. Um, I might even do a walking chair burpee for my second one. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. But are you go. guys ready? We're up for our first minute at 60%. 60% gang. Here we go. I just wanted to show you that, yeah, you could get on an, a, a bike or something in your house, a treadmill. If it's not in the same room, don't worry about it. Go out. Go do what you need to do. I'll see you back here in two minutes. Yeah. Slightly out of breath in two minutes. Just slightly. Yeah, just a little bit. Great workout for a Wednesday. The attitude for me is I, I've, I've already done my hard stuff. Now I'm just kind of cooling down. Yep. Circulating blood a little bit right now. That's what we're doing. Minute at 60%. We're almost there. Nice job, everybody. That's a minute at 60. Here's your minute. Now let's go right into 70. Right into 70% effort, gang. Right into 70%. You got a minute here. A whole minute here. I'm do a little fireman's Woo. drill. You can switch up what you do during your minute. You can stay with one move during your minute, but make it a little bit more effortful. Get out of breath here. This is kind of a fun Woo. move because there's change of direction. If you have a, a clear space, you don't need much space. You only need maybe eight or 10 feet to really make it worthwhile. Woo. I can be touching the floor to make this a little harder. Looks like we've got about 15 seconds to go. 15 seconds, gang. Finish strong. Looking good. You guys are energizing me. I'm looking at everybody moving. And that's your, that's time. your time. There's your time. Two minutes of cardio. Oh, did you get just a little breathless? Yeah, I did. Did you? Good. Did you? That's where we want you. That's where we want everyone else. That's good for your brain. It's good for your heart. It's good for everything. 
we exercise now, among friends is always a good thing. Yeah, we have time to get a nice stretch yes, in. We We're going to stretch in a chair today. How are you guys feeling? Woo! Kind of feels good to sit down after cardio like that. Gang, let's just do some shoulder shrugs. We did a lot of shoulder work today. Let's just pull your shoulders up to your ears and then let them go back down. Nice exercise to do in front of a mirror just to make sure your shoulders are really moving. Take some nice deep breaths here. And then how about a nice shoulder roll backwards? Ah, oh, that's like a little present to yourself. And then reverse that direction. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm going to do one of David's favorite stretches. I'm going to grab the side of my head. Love it. I'm going to look into an open armpit and just stretch my neck to the side. Pulling a little bit with my arm and hand. I think we hold a lot of tension in our neck. All right, let's go to the opposite side. So I'm pulling my head to one side, looking into the open armpit. Great job, great job. Let's get a rotational stretch in. Sounds good to me. Yeah, so I'm going to take my left knee and cross it over my right. Now, you don't have to cross, but- I'm going to do a modified version of this okay. just to show everyone. If I can just cross my ankles, that's plenty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to take my right hand and put it on top of that knee that's on top. My left hand is free, goes behind me, pulls me around, holding onto the chair so I can look even further backwards. So it's a nice rotation. Try to look over your left shoulder all the way mm -hmm. around. See what you can find back there. What are you looking at? I'm looking at a dust ball on the floor. Hmm. Huh. There's no dust in here. <laughs> I'm looking at the red ball. Okay. I'm trying to get, get that red ball. Okay. All right. And now come back forward. Now let's just switch that. So I'm going to take the right knee, cross it over the left or not. Left hand on top of that knee. Right hand goes behind you, grabs the chair and pulls. Ah. Oh. It's a great stretch. I feel it mostly in my back and shoulders, yeah. a little bit in my hips. I love this stretch. It's great for low backs. It's that time of day. Let's get one more stretch in. Let's get a hamstring stretch oh, in. Okay, you got it. One of the best stretches ever in the history of stretches. So dig a heel into the floor if you're in a chair. Straighten your leg out as much as you can. Pull your toes up and then just lean in a little bit. Lean your belly button towards your toes and pull your toes up towards your belly button. And oh, I feel that. A lot of us feel this behind the knee. That's mm -hmm. that's okay. That's yeah, that's good. And now let's switch sides. Gosh, thanks for joining us today, you guys. We're so glad you joined this hour. This hour is for you. Well, and you go to bed with a younger brain today. Yeah, younger brain. <laughs> Isn't and that great? Yeah. So we do have two minutes of thinking about nothing but your breath. That's right. So yep. let's get comfortable. Get comfortable either lying or seated and take everything out of your brain except hearing your own breath, breathing in through your nose, out through an open mouth. Most people will uh, close their eyes, but mm -hmm. you don't have to. And yeah. most people will count your breaths. Yes. How many breaths do you take mm -hmm. in the next two minutes? Right. In through the nose, out through the mouth. I always like saying I'm breathing in now. I'm breathing out now. Your Here two, we go. Two, two minutes, minutes starts. starts now.
There's your two minutes. And that's your Wednesday workout. And hey, if you were new to us today, I hope you liked it. Join us again. Try us on Wednesdays for free. Try a two-week free trial. We have 10 classes a week. We have 10 classes a week. And uh, the feedback has been great. Yeah. We will help your brain. We will help your brain. <laughs> Multiple ways. That is Multiple our specialty. Ways. That is our forte. So. And we're going to unmute you so that you can chat or um, ask us a question. Um, let's see here. Thank you, Michelle. Have a great day yourself. Yeah. Everyone have a great rest of your day.